Hello all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you five simple pages that you can use to set up your bullet journal. If you're like me, I don't actually use a bullet journal as my main way to plan. I use a um, file of facts and I also have a different planner for work. So these pages are ideal if you want to get into bullet journaling, but this isn't your main way of planning. So I'm going to be setting up in this Clever Flox planner, which I absolutely love because I use it for the details of work, for my monthlies, and some personal bits and then I also have lots of space at the back for bullet journaling. So the tools I'm going to be using are these five mild liners. This is the colour set Noble. Then I'm going to be using this washi from Rifle Paper Company, just this blue one here that colours go perfectly with those. Then I'm going to be using my Tombow Food No Suco brush pen, this is the softer, and my Uniball Signo Broad in white and my Unipin fine liners. So I am an avid tea drinker. I'm obsessed with herbal tea and usually see a lot of coffee based bullet journals, but I just don't drink coffee. So I'm doing one that's a bit more true to me and I'm gonna make this tea theme bullet journal for July. I really wanted to make it, I didn't want it to be too twee. So like having, you know, little mugs everywhere um, and you know, little, tea bags everywhere so I've incorporated it I think quite subtly there's one thing I've used lots of mugs for but you'll see that in the future but here I'm just setting up the calendar for the month and I use that Tombow brush pen to actually make a black backdrop for me to wipe it over with my white Uniball Signo I only I find this only works on with this pen I've tried to do it with a Tombow dual brush pen and it just seems to soak up the white for some strange reason but it works really well on top of the Food No CK brush pen. So once I've filled this in I'm just going to write the month at the top of my calendar. I love white on black. It is so gorgeous when setting up a bullet journal. I'm obsessed with florals and plants as well so of course I'm going to incorporate this in some way in my setup. So I've just used this simple um, sort of leaf design as a main and um, you'll see that throughout the setup. So for a cover page it will either usually be a single page or a double page depending on where your last month ends. Um, I prefer a double page spread, I just think it looks really nice to open up onto for the month and also I can have a month overview on one side or a quote or something else. So I did this with my 0.8 Uniball um, fine pin but then the mug looked a bit washed out next to everything else so I just went over it with my brush pen to thicken out the lines and then I'm going to use a bit of this washi tape from Rifle Paper that is so pretty and I use these really tiny scissors to cut the washi so I can see clearly where I need to cut and then I'm just going to add a little bit of colour to these petals So one thing I love about a good mug of tea is that cute little paper tag that hangs down from outside the mug. So I'm going to use this for some titles and headings in this setup. I just think it works really nicely. It looks really cute. So I've put it in there for 2020. And then I'm just going to use my Tombow Jaw brush pen to write out the month. And then I'm just going to finish it all off with a frame. I just think a frame just completes the look of a cover page. So I've just gone around the two pages, just a simple line. And having the dots there makes it really easy to do. And then I'm just going to add a little bit more blue on this left hand page to tie in the colours a bit more. And that is the cover pages done. So the first page that I like to have in my setup is Brain Dump. I absolutely love this. is probably my favourite part of my bullet journal because I can get quite anxious. And it's good to just have every thought sort of jot, jotted down. And when I say thought, I mean things that I think of that I might need to do. I just quickly jot it down here or any ideas that I don't want to forget. It's just a great place to be a bit free. Um, and to jot down some ideas. So again, I've done the tea tag at the top and I'm just gonna put some washi in there to add a bit of color. 
and I'll show you what I mean when I say to be free on this page I don't I'm not precious with this page and I don't actually make it really neat and tidy I still make it look cute but I just have all my different thoughts sort of dumped down there and I'm just copying some things over from my previous month that I want in this month so I don't have to keep flicking back But I just love the brain dump page because you can just be free. You don't have to think too hard about how it looks. Just put down all your thoughts and your ideas. So I did go a little mug mad here and I have made this my mood tracker. So I'm just starting off with the title using my Tombow brush pen. And then just going over in the white gel pen. Now, I love the idea of a mood tracker because um, I think it's really good for mental health just to sort of adjust and see how things are going for the month. I think it's very easy to look back, if you're, especially if you're not in a great place and say, oh, it's been a terrible month, I've just been um, so loyal for the entire month or I've just been anxious for the entire month, when actually you can look back over the mood tracker and really see what's actually been going on with your mood and emotions. I just think it's a fun little way to be mindful about um, where you are and how you're doing. So here I have picked um, different shaped mugs and kettles and some of the leaves that I like to put in there. And what I'm going to do is just colour each one in um, each day of the month, depending on my mood. And I've made these big enough so that if my mood does change in the day, I can record maybe multiple moods that I had in one of these little mugs or kettles. And that way it's a little bit less generalised and I can see a bit more of the detail. keeping it simple and going really simple with the moods and then I'm going to use my mild lighter for each colour and that's my mood tracker ready to go so the next set of pages are going to be like a gratitude um, section and I'm basing mine on the Bible verse in Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 that says be anxious for nothing but by prayer and thanksgiving make your requests known to God. So that's why I called the title by prayer and thanksgiving and in here I'm just going to put every week. I'd love to say I do this every day but I just would not be able to keep up with it. So I've made a, um, a weekly tab to fill. And each week I'm going to put in there things that I'm thankful for and things that I need to pray for. Now I find this really, really helps my anxiety because by being thankful for things, I'm remembering all the good things God has done for me. So it gives me peace about any situations I'm facing at the moment. And also being able to pray about it helps me to let them go and know that God is in control. So you can still do this page. Of course, if you are not a Christian or you don't have um, a faith in God in that way, then you can still, of course, do this and maybe um, put things I'm thankful for or things that I need to work on, things that I'm grateful for and things that I need help with. So again, I'm just using this um, T-tab design and I'm just extending them so that I've got space to write in each week. And then to add a bit of colour, I am just using the mild liners to highlight the headings of each week.
and I've made the first week and the last week shorter because the first week and last week in July are shorter and it gives a lovely bit of space for some leafy designs and space to add some colour. Now I realised as I highlighted the headings there that the colour wasn't actually showing up um, so well so then I decided to extend the highlight on all of them so that you could see a bit more of the colours of the mild liners. And that is the gratitude page done. And the next two pages I'm going to do are my to-do lists. Now I've left this um, last in my bullet journal setup so that if I need to add more to-do list pages afterwards I can still do that. But I have to-do lists coming out of my ears so these to-do lists are my master to-do list so I have everything on here ongoing tasks, postponed tasks, just everything so that I can see it clearly. So I've got two separate lists. This first one that I'm doing is my work to-do list. And then I'm going to do these little post-it designs here for any urgent to-dos. Of course, I'm going to add my tea tab design, a bit of washi for colour and some florals. And I'm going to use that um, line as a margin for my bullet points or my flags. So when I say my master to-do list, any to-do lists that come out of this in my weeklies, monthlies, in my personal planner, in my work planner, they'll all come from here so I can see everything that I have to do and everything that I have to do goes down on this list. So I'm just starting to carry over my to-dos from the previous month and I have a different um, bullet dot system for work. So I use these little flags for work and I use um, a simple points for my personal to-do list just so that I can clearly distinguish between the two again. And I do have a key system. If you head to my Instagram page, you'll be able to see this key system that I use. And then on my personal one, I'm just adding a, another section for everything that I have to do with Living Letter, so my business. I keep that separate from work, just because work is in itself, I work full time, so that there's a, there's a lot that can go on that list. And I don't want to mix them up, I prefer to put that into my personal section. So there you have it. I'm just going to give you a quick flip through. And these pages are just great addition to have if you want to get into billet journaling, but it isn't your main way of planning. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked today's video, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Until my next video, take care.